Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Stephen Fallon and welcome to my video channel. What I would like to share with you today are some thoughts on digital photography for dentistry. And what I'm going to focus on is macro photography because I personally really enjoy the macro photography aspect of digital photography and I'm going to show you how I achieve the really close one-to-one -one images with the uh, black background that I use so that we can see the definition of the incisal edge and all the incisal uh, characterizations that we place in our restorations or that are placed by nature in the natural tooth. And I'm going to also uh, show you um, the setup that I use for my de dental photography. And basically I have my main camera right here and it's uh, a Nikon D3. I'm using a D3 body with the vibration reduction 105 micro Nikkor lens. And this is an excellent lens for dental photography, really good glass. The vibration reduction is excellent for macro images as well. And then I have the R1C1 macro photography uh, uh, flash setup and it has two wireless flash heads and I've mounted them on a bracket that I purchased from Photomed and the nice thing about this bracket is the flash heads are a little further away from the lens so you never get red eye on your portrait photos if you are using this setup for portrait photos and you also get better definition of the line angles of your incisors your teeth with this kind of setup having the flashes a little bit of distance and angled uh, towards the uh, towards the lens so that setup helps me achieve the types of images that I get that you would see if you've been to one of my uh, seminars and I'm going to basically show you some video clips that I um, that I've uh, pulled from my DVD on digital photography for dentistry. And this is basically a two disc DVD and it's about two and a half hours long and it walks you through step by step in a lot of detail how to take each image. And I'm showing you basically about a 20, 20 image series for uh, patients which will show everything that you need to show them. Uh, there are smaller photography series that you can do for patients, you know, the AACD, uh, accreditation series which I did back in the 90s is basically 12 images but I felt that the 12 images doesn't really show me everything that I'd like to see and that I like to show patients at consultations so I've created basically a 20 image series that I take and with the DVD you also receive a photo booklet and the booklet shows you the slides that are part of the keynote sections of the DVDs. So you'll get some of the uh, information, the basic technical information about dental photography. And it shows you examples of some of the photographs and the f-stop and all the settings that I use for those photographs. So what we're going to do now is we'll basically switch to my keynote presentation and you'll see the live video feed from my DVD. So I hope you enjoy the presentation and we'll uh, come back to see us soon at uh, our video channel here. So we're going to talk about macro dental photography and I'm going to focus on the uh, photography that I use or the techniques that I use for the upper anterior teeth because that is one of the areas that can have a big impact on your practice if you're taking photographs of those teeth. You can also do posterior macro photography. You know, I cover how I do my posterior occlusal views and then crop them in basically on the DVD. But um, for today, for this YouTube video, I'd like to talk about macro dental photography. And I'm going to show you now a clip from my uh, DVD, which will walk you through the technique that I use. Okay, so the next image I'm going to do is the close-up one-to-one -one view with the black background. So if you notice when you, if you've seen me uh, speak, a lot of my close-up views have a black background behind the image. I haven't done that in Photoshop. I've actually shot the image with a device we call the contraster. So Amanda's going to bring that in now. And if you can put in the retractors, Melissa. And we're going to lift her upper lip up pretty high and open, open wide and lift up again. This is common when you ask the patient to open wide, their lip goes down, so you have to concentrate on both areas. And then the contraster, which is just a little black background, goes in place. It's a little steel black background. And now I'm going to come in and take the image at the plus one exposure compensation. I think that'll be good, but we might have to go to a little bit higher. Here it is. 
actually slightly overexposed, I think. So for this one, we want a little less light in because we're so close up. So we're going to go down to 0.7 and see how that looks. Let's get that centered. This looks good here. If you look at the histogram, the black here, the highlight here in the far left is the black background. The histogram looks like it's fairly centered between the two middle mid-tones uh, panels compared to the other one, which looked a little overexposed to me. So here's the final image. Uh, I've cropped it in a little bit. I tend to uh, take these images and crop them a little bit to achieve the uh, look that I'm looking for. You know, you could crop it in even more than this if you want to. You can see the highlights on the line angles. That's achieved with the flash setup and how we have the flash heads angled towards the, towards the lens and slightly uh, separated from the lens. So now what I'd like to do is talk about the lateral views and show you a video clip from my DVD about the lateral views. So now we're, we've got our exposure compensation set. I'm just going to do the lateral close-up views where we'll focus on the lateral incisors. That looks good to me. And we'll come over here and do this one. And this one looks good. So here are the lateral views. Again, I've cropped them in slightly to achieve the, uh, the, uh, ed uh, the image that I'd like. And you can see the highlights on the line angles. And I basically use exposure compensation to fine tune my exposure. I find um, I'm using aperture priority uh, for my uh, exposure mode or for my control mode. And then basically I fine tune it with either the exposure compensation on the flash or the exposure compensation on the camera. And you can do this with any uh, camera system, whether it be Canon or Nikon. And basically I'm just adjusting this to get the histogram in the correct place and get the ideal exposure for my image. Because I find if I get the ideal exposure, the color is generally correct. So I spend a lot of time just tweaking my exposure. And I tend not to like to go to really high f-stops because um, I, I think that the image quality decreases with a really high f-stop. So I try to keep my uh, images around f22 or f25 and then fine-tune the exposure with the exposure compensation. Again, here's the DVD. A lot of this information is basically all covered on the DVD. It's a two-disc DVD, as I said. And you get this little booklet as well, and it uh, walks you through the slides of the histogram and how to set up the camera. And if you're not familiar with the histogram, it's just something on the back of the camera that we use, a graph that we use to uh, give us an idea of whether or not our image is at the correct level of exposure. And it's slightly different for dental images than you would have for, say, uh, travel images. So I explain what to look for, what's a correct exposure, and then I show you in the video demonstrations how to adjust that with the exposure compensation. And then the booklet also shows you some examples of some of the images that I think are the more difficult images, as well as the f-stops and uh, uh, basic setup that I use to take these images. So it's, it's actually a very good resource, I think, to train your staff. You know, my dental hygienists all take uh, do photography for me. Um, I tend to take the photography on my own cases, on my bigger cases, my complex cases, because I do like to control the photography. But for a lot of basic smaller cases and um, a lot of uh, different photos, just photos of uh, broken teeth, etc., my dental hygienists are very good at taking these images. So I hope you enjoyed this short little YouTube video. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And if you're interested in the DVD package, you can uh, look at failindentalseminars.com and actually purchase it right online and we'll uh, courier it out to you.